Okay, guys, so I thought I was going to share something with you here for a minute. It's a bit of an upgrade for the old wrestler there, so this is the top of the chassis and your steering bell crank, which is this guy, goes on here. And obviously, well, it's wrong way around, but you guys get the idea, like that. And the servo moves it so you can steer left and right. Well, now these come with these little plastic bushings in there, like this, right? If you want to get them out, and they are removable, you just take yourself a little flat screwdriver, and these right here from Still are really good. There's the part number. These are great tuning screwdrivers. Just pause on that. <coughs> Anyways, moving on. So, you take your little flat screwdriver and frame here. Yeah, we are. And you just take on an angle and you just pop these little spacers out. Or bushings. And then, you can go to a printer shop or wherever and you can buy these bearings here. These are ball bearings. Really tiny, as you can see. Little tiny guys, right? And those will replace, and I'll show you in a second here, but they are an MR85-2RS. I'll repeat that. MR, M as in Mary, R as in Ron, 85-2, Ronald Smith. So that is, oops, I have to go back to my eBay here. Hang on a second here. I'll show you. One second. These are what you want. Let's gonna get back to the dealie here. So that right there, five by eight by two point five. And you buy them in a pack of ten; they're only about three bucks. So you knock these guys right here, these plastic ones out, right? And you put these little metal ball bearing ones in there, nice, like see that fit perfect I think these fit the transmission for the old wrestlers too so I'm pretty sure they do because if you order a bearing kit it says it fits that now this guy how the fuck does that go again I can't remember anyways I was like oh yeah hold on a second here look at that backwards <laughs> will fit right on here and bam nice and smooth gets rid of all the slop because even this old plastic here is actually worn out. These bushings right here will wear out on the inside. And then this gets all floppy and sloppy, right? And you can't get the you can't get the slop out of it. But because these right here rub on the plastic on the inside and these little posts right here. So you ball bearing swap them, and even this little old plastic, bam, takes all the slop right up, makes it nice and tight. Nice free, easy movement. Absolutely beautiful. So that's what you want there and i'll show you the other bearings because i know traxa sells two of these bearings here for about 10 bucks and i'll tell you what the size is here hang on so we want to go a little bit past here and the bearing size and again these are nice and cheap let's see here right there this is 5 by 11 by 4. So these are a standard Traxxas bearing for a lot of stuff, like T-Maxes and everything else. Clutches for the old T-Maxes or, um, you know, uh, rustlers and things like that. Now, Traxxas will sell you two of these bearings, Canadian, for about $13. You can buy this whole bag for $3.99 on eBay or Amazon. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. If you guys didn't know that, now you guys know how to ball bearing swap your uh, steering arms on your uh, Nitro Slash. And uh, I think the Revos are the same. I can't, or not Revos, uh, what are they called? Jados and stuff. And uh, obviously your Nitro Wrestler, ni Electric Wrestler too. So nice, easy movement. Takes all the slop out. Gets rid of these shitty plastic bearings and all that friction. Yeah. And like I said, you can buy a whole little sleeve of these things for a couple bucks on eBay. Big help. Definitely makes things a lot better for cheap. Because if you go out and you buy the aluminum upgrade kit right here, if you hit shit, you'll break other parts. These will snap. The other ones will just break this big part here, and that's expensive. 
and uh, you don't really want that. And also, once you start adding too much aluminum, it starts making shit really heavy. So these keep everything nice and light, nice and easy moving, keep things lasting, just all around better. And for two dollars and eighty cents, you can get ten of them. Anyways, guys, so hopefully that helps you. And uh, that was a bad one there that came apart. Um, 10w30 motor oil and hold it wide open with no bar on it that's what happened there the poor thing anyways as always guys take your easy thanks for watching keep on burning nitro out there ball bearing swap your shit makes the biggest difference